Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Triple A baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Round Rock Express and the Sugar Land Space Cowboys. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. Well, Singy, this ballpark still among the game's best. When the roof is open, it feels like an outdoor ballpark. And then you have the shade and the cool when the roof is closed. Yeah, and formerly Towles Hill out there in center. You still have the Crawford boxes in left, a unique setback in left center field, which causes the left fielders to have to play differently. But there is a lot of character to this place. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. Today's starting pitcher, J.P. France. Well, he doesn't have overpowering stuff, so it's important that he finds his rhythm early. I think the easiest thing for him is to trust that catcher. Catcher's been in the league a long time. He knows these hitters. Whatever fingers he puts down, you nod the head and you throw that pitch. Okay, all set to go. And stepping in is the speedy Travis Jankowski. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have got it. Didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. At the play, Mark Mathias puts it in the air out towards left center. And it drops in. So a man aboard now with one away. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. The second base is Ezekiel Duran. Ezekiel Duran now at the plate. Right hander kicks deals. Packed house here at Minute Maid. And the right hander deals. And now the count filled up three and two. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen that him give up walks in the past, the and it's an issue once six. again early on. Josh. Here's Josh Young. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He circles the bases, his second of the year. It's 2 0. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Sam Huff will hit next. Two outs. Out to short. Nova. Throws to first. Out. And that will end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two-zip. Back after this on the show. Back here in Houston. And on the hill in this one, Cole Reagans. How about a scouting report on him? Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but we it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. The wind of the pitch. 
Way out front for strike two. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The pitch. On the ground right side, and it goes just foul. Next offering is fouled back. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Up the middle. On the run. Throw to first. One up, one down. Take a look at the lineup. Trailing by a couple of runs already, and I'm sure they'd like to erase that deficit quickly. Yeah, you don't want to let this deficit get into your head and you're trying to just make up the difference with one swing and you really don't have the base runners on. You've got to contribute, keep the line moving, and all of a sudden you have a big inning, everything shifts, and you find yourself in the driver's seat. And now it's going to be Jake Myers. And he drops it down the third baseline. And that's just foul. One down, base is empty. That one down the line. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. That leaves him without a throw, and he reaches safely. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Man at first with one gone, and now David Hensley. The count two and one, and that's a little bit high. And he deals. And ball four to a board. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. That is four. So one out with two aboard. And now the first baseman, J.J. Matajevic. This one lifted in the air, left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. So first and second with two outs. And the batter now, Pedro Leon. Myers on second. Hensley on at first with two down. In the air, left field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Two left on. We go on to inning number two. The Express have the lead. Two to nothing. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And the batter now, Jackson Frazier. Jackson Frazier. And it's even up. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Yoshi Tutsugo, the next to hit. The 1-1. One -one. That one ran inside, almost got him. The wind and the pitch. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And here is Jonathan Ornelas.
And a foul ball. He stays alive. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Next offering misses. Three and two now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Next to hit, Travis Jankowski. Struck out swinging his first time. Fought off foul. Bounced up the middle. They take the force out, third out. So they strand a pair. Now to the bottom of the second. The Express have the advantage, two to nothing. Back here in Houston, bottom half of inning number two. Here's a speed threat, Matthew Barefoot. Ball to strike, the pitch. There's a strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Got him. And that's the first out. That is that. So up next, no, third, Joe game. Perez. The line to kick the pitch. Two balls, one strike. In the air on the infield. And there's two away. Batting it. The catcher. Yeager. Diaz. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's the catcher. Yainer Diaz. The lefty ready. And a 1-1. One -one. And it skips in the dirt. For a strike. It's two and two. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing here this half. We play two full. The Express on top here, two to nothing. New inning getting started. Now the number two hitter, Mark Mathias. Mark Mathias. The 1 1. And now the count 1 and 2 after the swing and the miss. Fights that one away, still 1 and 2. And the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And foul ball. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. 
Man, it's so tough to let a slow curveball like that one just travel all the way into the contact zone. You see it out of the hand, and you're telling yourself, off speed, stay back. But you just get too excited. You think you're going to hammer it, and you still end up way out in front. The 1-1. One -one. And strike two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plate. Back to the mound, and it's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, he found himself the behind in the count right six. there, but he didn't give in. Yeah. Once you get the ball by the yeah. pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next to hit, Josh Young. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Duran at first, one gone. Close, but called a ball. Three and one. This to third, and it finds its way through for a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. A couple of singles back to back. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now Sam Huff, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Falling oh. behind two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. One out. Runners at first and second. The next pitch misses, and the count is three and one. There's the strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Now bat. So first and second with two outs. Now the left fielder, Jackson Frazier. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. And that'll do it. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get them home. We head down to the home half of inning number three. The Express lead it two to nothing. Welcome back. Now, here is Ross Adolph. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Next offering is in for a strike. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent oh. with it, they make moves on the base paths. And the 2-2. Got him. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same the page right Number now. One. Stop. So the lineup flips over. Now here's Freyudis Nova. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. And now the lefty. Chopped to the right side, grabs it barehanded, and very nicely done for the out. The pattern, number, number six, six. Designated, designated hitter, hitter. Jake Meyer. Two outs, base is empty. And now the DH, Jake Myers. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that is the third out of the inning.
And welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth. Yoshi Tsutsugo. Yoshi Tsutsugo. Next offering is foul back. Now all even up. And now it's filled up. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me written all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. And now it's even up. Two and two. The punch out there. Picks up strikeout number seven. Two outs, base is empty. Dustin Harris getting ready to hit. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Righty delivers. And another ball. Fights it off. He'll see another. In the air, right field. Barefoot puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Back here in Houston, now it's the second baseman, David Hensley. The second baseman, David Hensley. The pitch. Good eye in that spot. Well, these guys just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Kicks and fires. High fly ball out into left center field. Harris pulls that one down, and there's one away. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Next offering is down low. Two balls and a strike. Next offering is downstairs. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. So digging in, Pedro Leon. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. And it is two and one. The two oh, one is high. To first, maybe a two ball. Two two go. Over to second, double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. 
Nothing across here this half. On to the top of the fifth we go. The Express with the lead two to nothing. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Sean Dubin. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And now the right fielder, Travis Jankowski. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. Left-hand hitter waits. And that's ball four. Leading off for round round off. Next is the designated hitter, Mark Mathias. One for two. Jankowski gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. It's going. Runner on the goal. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. And that lands in no man's land. A foul ball. And that one a little bit high. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Matthias tries to hold up, appeal to first, and that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. So up next, Ezekiel Duran. Here's a 1-1. Good eye right there. Two balls, one strike. The pitch. Left field, way back there. Gone! His second of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 4 nothing. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. He's already homered in this game. Here comes a pinch. Out there to center. Leon drifts towards it. Squeezes it. Two down. The catcher, the catcher. number 55. And now the catcher comes Sam. up to him. Sam Huff. Huff. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And Jerry Hillsdale says he went around. And now the count is even. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Parker Mashinsky, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Belak, a right-hander, loosening up as well. Stays alive. Righty to the plate. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Mm -hmm. 
And there's a the ball. Rips that one to right. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that ends the inning. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here at the ballpark, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Matthew Barefoot. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's the third baseman, Joe Perez. First time up was a pop out. Next one off the plate inside. Yeah, that's ball two. Action in the pen down there. Ricky Venasco up and throwing. Odorizzi warming up as well. Rudder at first with no outs here. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Man at first, and here's the catcher, Yaner Diaz. That one's in there, and the count is one and two. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough. Now and got played it. right Let's into run. the hands of the pitcher. One-one one now. He swings and fouls one off. Barefoot off of first with two away. Next pitch in the dirt. And the count is even two and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back here at Minute Maid Park, here's the left fielder, Jackson Frazier. Jackson Frazier. Ball to strike. Slice down the right side. You know, this group of hitters putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Barefoot, calls it in, and there's one away. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the now runs column, it. but with the, the way they're season. grinding out at bats, Yoshi. it definitely feels Tutugo. like there's potential for more coming. Yoshi Tutugo now at the plate. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage the counts bat, where batting bat, averages are just so much higher. Just kept it simple, in. played Pepper with or the no. middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jonathan Ornelas. A strikeout and a walk. In the dirt, blocked. And an excellent job keeping it right there. And here it comes. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Now batting. The center fielder. Dustin Two on Andy. with one out. Harris. And now the center fielder, Dustin Harris. Next pitch downstairs. And now three and one.
And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Here comes a 3 2. That one drilled left field. Adolf pulls it down, and there's two gone. The right field is number 16. Travis Jenkins. Back to the top of the lineup, and stepping in is the speedy Travis Jankowski. And a pitch. And that's too high. Mark Mathias waits on deck. Three one is on the way. That's a strike. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Swings and misses, struck him out. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Express out front, four to nothing. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the shortstop at the play. Frey Udi Snowball. Frey Udi Snowball. One and two now. That's a little bit low. This one in the air center field. Then there's one down. The batter, number six. six. And here is Jake Myers. Jake Myers. The 1 1. Late with the swing there. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Myers started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. Here's the second now baseman, that. David Hensley. The second baseman. David Hensley. The 3 1. And a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. The pitch. Lifted in the air, out to left. One up, one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming now open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Here's a speed threat. Ezekiel Duran can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at-bat right here. That pitch in for a strike, and that is strike two. Bullpen activity starting up now. Blake Taylor, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. The one-two. Line drive, base hit. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Digging in, Josh Young. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on.
That's a laser base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. He's in there. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a cookie the down the middle. I mean, those are the Damn. ones you dream about. Oh, ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, you're not a whole lot of velocity. Three. Right on top of it. Parker Mashinsky gets the call from the pen. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Runners on the corners with one gone. Now here is Sam Huff. And a 1 2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone by the time it got to the plate. And people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Now the left fielder, Jackson Frazier. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Fly ball to right. And that'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. And here's the first baseman, J.J. Matajevic. The Space Cowboys in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Next three pitch ball. misses. Bounce full, three and two. Got it by him for the K. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Activity in the bullpen. Zach Littell getting loose out there. Kennedy getting loose as well. The wind of the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and deals. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Now it's the right fielder, Matthew Barefoot. Next offering is in for a strike. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Swing and a ball popped up. And that is that. Another scoreless inning. And now that's seven shutout frames. We look ahead to inning number eight. The Express had the lead. Four to nothing. And welcome back. Leading All set for the start right of the on. inning. And now the, the first, first baseman, baseman Yoshi, Yoshi Tsutsugo. Tsutsugo. One, two now. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. So digging in, Jonathan Ornelas. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Next offering is down low. And a pitch. Just off the outside edge. Nobody out. Runner at first. And there's ball four. 
Well, now he's got two runners on after that walk. Now, and things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations. So he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. So up next, Dustin Harris. Next one is off the play. Ball three. First and second here, no outs. And that'll load the bases. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. So the batting order turns over, and now the right fielder, Travis Jankowski. At the belt and fires. Two and one. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Tutugo, the runner at third. Ornelas at second. Harris at first with no outs. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. And the pitch. That is ball four. And that'll bring home a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there. And now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. And now, Ezekiel Duran. And a pitch. And now two and one. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. To the right side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. The third base is number six. John. John. Brandon Bielak gets the ball now. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. Bases loaded with one away. Josh Young will hit next. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. In the air, center field. And makes the grab. Runner tags for home. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Zach Littell. This is his Number first one, appearance one, of the season. And Let's now go. here is Joe Perez. The, the third baseman. Joe Perez. Just foul of third. Well, these guys, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Makes the catch for the out. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high now with all of the swings and misses. Yeah, yeah. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand yeah. pretty much all game. Now the catcher up to hit, Yainer Diaz. Right-handed reliever. That one ripped left field. That's back there. And that one's gone. 
He sends a rocket to left, and they cut into the deficit. It's 6-1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here's the left fielder, Ross Adolph. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now it appealed to third, and he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Well, they've had a great plan of no attack for him no tonight. Ball. I mean, finding Shirt all the ball. holes in his swing Dang and his Rudy. approach, just frustrating for him no up there. Ball. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this a... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. So it may be too little, too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. Back here at the ballpark, Leaving all set to start the ninth in this one. The Here's the catcher, Sam, Sam Huff. Huff. The 1-1. One -one. Yeah, there's the strike. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Stepping in, Jackson Frazier. Next offering misses. Now two balls and a strike. The wind of the pitch. Yeah, there's the strike. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. One gone runner at first. Now it's going to be Yoshi Tutugo. Swing and a miss. Hit a count one and two. Frazier, the base runner at first with one out. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Two outs. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Three balls, two strikes to count. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Well, that worked out as good as it could have. We mentioned the RBI opportunity with the runner moving on the 3-2 pitch, and he cashed in by finding a hole in the outfield. You know, that takes a little extra concentration in the box because of the movement on the base paths. Easy to get distracted, so that was a really nice job there. And now it's going to be Dustin Harris. Pitch misses inside, and it's 2-1. Corners are occupied with two down. That's to third, and it goes just foul. Here's a 2-2. Two -two.
Belak over to first. Right. Ornelas gets back easily. Runners on first and third, two away. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Two left on. One more shot coming up. Bottom of the ninth on deck. The Express have the advantage. Six to one. Back here in Houston. Now it's the DH, Jake Myers. The designated hitter, Jake Myers. And a 1 1. And that one fouled off. One and two here. Oh. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try and tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. 2 2 now. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. This ball's chopped on the ground. He handles it himself. Now only one out remaining. Now the first base. So here's the cleanup hitter, J.J. Matajevic. The 2-1. Swings through that one out in front that time. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Our final line score, first, first for the victorious, victorious Express, Express. Six, six runs on 14 hits, hits. no oh, errors, they, they left 13 men on base. base. For the for Space, Space Cowboys, Cowboys, one run, run on, on two, two hits, hits. no oh, errors, they, they left, left four men on base. base. Time of the ball game, two, two hours, hours and 59 minutes. minutes. Thank, Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please, Drive home, home safely. safely.
think wrong, a babe who can't do that.